Hello everyone, welcome to Oregon Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 90 of Kingdoms of Amalur. So we just helped General Tilera get back the Spear of Light. Uh, so let's see what happens next. To get to Melsenshire, we need to take a ship from Rathia. And that means convincing Elund Karth, the city's ruler. Okay, so... We may be lofty, but we are not weak. Our land is cold and harsh, and we have long studied the noble arts of bow and blade. Across a thousand battlefields, my spear paints a red masterpiece. Okay. Because of my failure, Melsenshire has suffered years of siege. Even if I kill Witch Knight Malwyn and save the city, their pain is still my fault. Okay. Time to go back then. Ten years ago, I served the Alpha armies, defending Pluricon and Melsenshire from the Tuatha armies. Then, Witch Knight Malwyn led his Tuatha summoners against us. The fiends routed my soldiers at every turn. Now they've had Melsenshire under siege for years, while I've been searching for a weapon to turn the tide. With the wards down, I think we can get out this way. Okay, no, let me uh, loot these items first. Silver Knight Chaucers. Chakrams. Oh, uh, what did that big boss yield us? What's this guy's name? Azagal. Azagal. Gauntlets of the Martyr. Okay. So that's another set piece. And we leveled up. I noticed that. Uh, hold on. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, we are at 97. Okay, let's level up. And uh, what we wanted was was get our sage craft up or something. So here would you can craft epic gems. And here you can remove gems from any socket at a sage craft altar. Okay. Epic gems. Okay. Uh so how about this over here? Uh, wow, that's a long way to get all alchemical recipes are discovered. That's not really n that important. Uh, dispelling. Uh, how, what's this? You can fail to dispel a ward once before it will explode. Decreases difficulty when dispelling magical wards. Um, luck picking, mercantile. Uh, re you recover 15% of an item's gold value when you destroy it. Ooh, not bad. Persuasion. Okay, how about stealth? No. Uh, I think mercantile and then here you recover 30% and here you recover... You can now sell stolen items, so that's not that important. I think this is more important. Okay, let's, let's go here. And... I think we want uh, sorcery. We are at 70. Oh, we have to be at 76. Oh, it has opened up. Yes, what is this? Uh, sphere of protection gains the power to fire off. Ooh, deadly ethereal splinters when enemies draw near. Yeah, rather than just within us. And what's this? Um, Deals 500 fire and 75 burning damage in all areas. So this is the equivalent of this lightning over here, except it's fire. So let's have this. Let's have that. And what's this? Uh, holds the but uh, hold the button down for ice barrage to launch a persistent cloud of ice shards, which lasts for a duration. Wow. Okay, we'll get all of them jeez okay that's going to be or do we want to specialize in one what's the next level in this one uh current level is ethereal splinters deal 110 physical damage next level is 120 okay okay yeah 
And we still can't change it because I think it's 76 when we can change. Yeah, sorcery would be, yeah, at 76, right? Yep, 76 sorcery. We are at 73. Okay, we're still here. Um, what's this new move that we have? Not the fairy blades, staves, scepters, chakrams, shields, finesse abilities. No, sorcery abilities, I think. Yep. Stormbolt, uh, Tempest, Hold. We have that, right? Sphere of protection toggle, yeah, that's oh, okay. Ice barrage, we have that. Winter's embrace, okay, this is hold. Okay, we didn't have this before, so that's a new one. Oh, mark of the flame, hold again. This is the one I was talking about. Okay, this is a meteor. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Elemental rage. Combine the mystic. I still don't know what how to do that okay back okay mm. hold on uh, see this is what we have right let's go to abilities uh, we can map that and this is Hold the button for Ice Barrage to launch a persistent cloud of... So if we hold this... Okay... I see, okay... Huh. And then this one. Oh, I think, okay. So holding R2 down and then triple tap triangle. I see. Okay. 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 Uh, we're out of mana. <laughs> okay. Um, but do we want? I don't know. We are out of. Can we map that to here? No, this is better. I think that's better until we have... Okay, uh, we are out of mana. Average. To the right, to the left, a little more, 
Maybe a little more. Oh, a tiny bit more. Yep, that should do it. Okay, where do we come in at? Hold on, let's come here first. Check out this area. Sometimes there might be hidden loot. And then... That's where we came in from. Just one loot box. Oh, two of them. Okay. Where's the loot box? Ooh, solstice. What is that? Okay. Inventory, weapons, primary, solstice. Gotta be flame based. Oh, it's only level 10. Physical, 10 physical damage, 49 fire. Burning damage over three seconds. It appears to be a Sealy Fae design with House of Summer themes. Fae enchanters insist Solstice is unknown to Sealy Bards. How does that compare to what we have? Oh no. Wow, it's 142 because of the fire damage. I wonder what it will yield in terms of bindings. But it only has 27 physical damage. 142 as against 128 on our side. Okay, that should be a good backup weapon. You know, there should be a shortcut getting out of here. Uh, General Tilera went ahead and left. And lately, I have been making more of greater mana and greater health potions rather than minor. Because uh, given our bigger pools, health pools, and mana pools, uh, miner just doesn't do it anymore. Okay. There's got to be a jump off place here. Okay. Um. Okay, let's go to Rathir, and then I think I... Yeah, let me show that Rathir. I think... I don't know if I showed that we went up to Rathir. I don't think... Uh, yeah, anyway, let's go to Rathir, and then we can see where the uh, merchant sells the uh, backpack. It's up on the upper city. Wow, the load time is really long. Okay, oh, she's gone. Okay, I cannot wait to get to Rathir. Hold on, uh, we're supposed to meet her in Rathir, right? Uh, meet with... Elun Karth in Rathir? Travel to Aegon's tomb.
the mouthpiece of Rathir's ruling council, Elmund Ellen uh, Korth, needs to give his approval before any ships. Okay, let's go there because I, like I said, I want to uh, to get to Melchior and Sheer and hopefully the backpack glitch is still available. At least we will get another ten slots on our backpack. But uh, the important one is trying to, to get to Melson Shear. And also, we will now be exposed to... I don't know, is there maybe a higher... We have a problem. Elund Karth refuses to send any troops to assist Melson Shear. The old fool never would listen to reason. A weapon is only as strong as the one that wields it. And a general is only as powerful as the army she leads. We need to convince Karth to lend us his aid. You can find him in the upper city, looking over the strait at Melsen Shear. A fool might as well be condemning the city. They're in the city, but they can't join us unless Elund Karth grants his blessing for them to go with us. Agarth has gone to reason with him. He was a fine fighter, as I recall. But I do not know if his diplomacy is as practiced. The man is not a warrior by nature. He cannot abide another risk for this city. But he's an idiot if he thinks we will get another opportunity such as this. Okay. The liberation uh. of Melsenshia is close. Hurry! What? Okay, uh, we need to get to the upper part, right? Um... Yeah, right there. Uh, wait. Uh, what I want to do is sell off uh, some of the items we got. Are you new to it there? Are you here for the Scolia Arcana as well? My brother is. Are you a mage? I bet you're not more powerful than he is. Oh, Varen's a silly old doof. He's always at the sea foam, and I've never once seen him study since he came <laughs> here. I've seen one of the waitresses giving him the eye, too, though he pretends he doesn't see when I'm around. I don't even know where to start. There's so much to tell. The Pradari, of course, where all the shops and stores are. And the Keys and the Burn, and the Upper City, where my brother's school is, and also the Temple and those marvelous gardens. Okay, uh... The northern piece are called the Keys, where merchant ships dock for trade. It's safer there, sheltered by Bracken Bay, and farther from Cluricon. Only warships dock at the Burn, and it's all soldiers there. What with the officers' hall, though the healer's there too. Okay, oh, she's a bunch of information for us, okay. And Pryderi is where you can buy stuff. Surely you've heard of it. Full of stuffy old mages and strange books, and the rooms Varen wouldn't let me go in. Just think what might be there. Okay, goodbye. Do you want to ruin students of magic? Masters of I think this is Gwalnich's goods. Uh, Perderi, I think, is where... I think it's this Perderi over here. So much to choose from, I just can't decide. Okay, the thing is that we want to sell most of the stuff that we have. And also, uh, they these guys have some of the greater craftings, uh, crafting materials that are greater, uh, level greater or better. Maybe, I think maybe a couple of masters. Uh, so it is a good place to talk to this guy. Go into Cluricon. You'll want Silver Knight at the very... And... First, let us sell the regular staff, right? Incinerate, Sylvanite, Stalker's Chakram, that's uh, ice. It has the piercing damage. You know what? Uh, what's this? Sylvanite Chakrams. Oh, this is because it has the socket. That's why it's green. Yeah, let's just sell these. 
Sylvanite Daggers. Ash Longbow. Again, we already hashed the Ash Limb. So it's these things that incinerating stalkers, these things still produce the Sylvanite, but they have like Paladin will have like plus 14% health and it's level 28 so we know because of that like this if we compare this it's also a might of 28 so we know it is a sylvanite base and so we don't need it now this one we don't need this one sell that this one, Disciples, has the plus 45 mana. Noble's Gloves, the plus 60 health. So this one would be good for breaking down. This is for uh, fire resistance. We don't really need it. Gold Talisman. Uh, oh, this one is green because it has the uh, socket, which is uh, not bad, actually. But we don't need it. We don't need that. We've had we have a couple of those oak buckler, silver knight gauntlets. I think we can break this down and keep the gold talisman or the gold um, the base for that one. Hand wraps, shoes. I'm keeping this because I don't think we ever had any Silver Knight Chaucers. So at least we've cut our inventory down. And then when we go to the buy side. So they have like under miscellaneous, they have the Azurite Guard. We don't need that. They've studied greater magnifying grip. So what does that do? Five chance for a critical hit. Greater assailing rivets versus lightly armor so they have greater quality so this is uh for lightning so this is a good place for us to shop greater reinforced trim so better block efficiency robust this is pretty good like 45 health 45 mana uh huh that would be good for our torso so greater strengthening binding let me let me get one of these Greater Strengthening Binding, that's plus 14 health, that's also good. Fire Ward, that's better. Oh, this is Master, see, they have, do have Master. And this one is to steal 15 mana, except this is a Ravenous Fulcrum. I think that is only good for bows. This would be good for uh, our uh, armor. Greater Hardened Rivets, yes, plus 45 health. So that's why this place would be worth coming to. Good then. And also they have a a uh, blacksmith bench over there for us to break down stuff. Okay, let's go up and talk to the quest. I finished the quest, I mean, uh, by talking to that guy and hopefully we can convince him. I don't know, I think we might get a couple of quests for him to gain our trust or something. I can't remember, but let's go talk to him and find out what would convince him to uh, release or lend us his army so we can take back Mel and Sheer. Uh, where is... okay. I think coming up here... Students of magic, masters of spells. Okay, through here. So on the map, we can see that this leads up to the second level. And in the second level, there is the headquarters of the Scolia, Scolia Arcana. And inside the Scolia Arcana, when you enter to up to the go up on the right side, I think there is the vendor right there. So Scolia goes through here. 
Lunar gardens are enchanted. That leads to the Scolia Arcana. But let's talk to the um Let's talk to this guy first, right? Over here? Okay, let's save this. Set by petitioning these days. Another advocate for this absurd plan to retake Melson Shear, I take it. Look to Rathia's sister across the strait. Her battered walls, her burned gardens, her back broken from a decade of war. We take in refugees. We send them food that we can spare. We try to ease her pain. But for ten years, I stood here and watched her die slowly. And now you, a stranger, think to convince me to commit the whole of this city to saving her because our army's greatest failure has recovered some old relic. Wow. I don't think we can get... There's nothing I can offer you. Perhaps the refugees can. Some of the soldiers of Mel Senshir have been asking to return and fight. Go to the docks, and I'll see that they meet you. It's a fool's dream. But if you're all determined to die, you may at least do so together. Go to the eastern docks in the lower city and find Captain Dodwin. He will oversee your journey to Melson Shear. Okay, cool. We'll do that. Go. Goodbye. Okay, there goes our timer, so I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. Bye.